there. She came to with blocks everywhere. Every vessel is blocked. Blood pressure 240, 140, etc., etc. And see this complete block at the abdominal aorta just after the renal artery has taken off. So I have the same device, put it here. She is walking now. And she is very fine. But what happened? After three months, you see, like a horse tail, lot of new vessels have grown. And the runoff is so good. She has a very good femoral artery. Her blood pressure has come down. Her stroke has recovered. And she didn't have a heart attack because she was told that she will have a heart attack because all the vessels are blocked. And she is fine and walking about. All because her husband believed in what we did. And he didn't go for four bypass surgeries in the heart, in the neck, in the leg, in the abdomen. She would have been with her maker by now. This is a very famous film actress, in, uh, not film actress, dancer in Madras. She, her disc was removed by 44 lakhs operation in a five-star corporate hospital. Then she was in the wheelchair all the time. And she was crying. So anyway, now she is dancing. So what has happened? Medicalization of society. We are pushing people into the bottomless pit by giving our treatment. But all that we did has no impact on society because whether you treat them or don't treat them, the curve is the same. It has only shifted a little because you have sent them a little early to the other world. <laughs> now we come back to what work we are doing on this area of holistic medicine. We took this, one of my colleagues was the greatest scientist the world had ever known. He was nominated to the Nobel 21 times, but they denied him the Nobel. His students, two of his students got Nobel. He didn't get it because he praises Indian things and so he doesn't get it. He's an American. He converted himself to Christianity and lives in America with an American wife. Now, of course, he's dead. He's 89. May his soul rest in peace. His name is Rustum Roy. He was the man who was invited to the government of India to study the science institutions here, and he told them all of them need to be completely revamped. Now, he took this from the Rigveda. Rigveda has this story called Urj. Do you know what it says in short? Water is the mother of fire. Water is the mother, father of fire. Agni. All energy comes from water. And so we said, let us see. So we, this is a silver mesh, and we put water on that, and silver nanoparticles get deposited. And we wanted to convert man into a salamander. You cut the salamander's tail. Have you seen that? Pally, pally, at home. It grows. Your tail also grows if you cut. But only thing is salamander can do it on its own. For you, we have to help it. Now, this boy lost his fingertip. He lost his fingertip on 16th May 1995 in a machine. It went off. He didn't have money to re-suture it. So what we did was we covered it with a silver thing and put some water and changed the polarity from negative to positive with the 9.9 volt battery. See, the, this, this, uh, on the third day, it is so clean. No infection. Nobody has touched it. And on the, on, after a month, it started growing. After another month, it started growing. Now it has completely grown into a finger. And if you want to know what it was like, it was like that. Here is a police retired IG in Madras. This is his foot, diabetic foot. And they wanted to chop it off. The man refused because he said, if you chop off the foot when you're alive, next Janma you will not have a foot itself, it seems, according to him. You and I don't believe it. We laugh at it. But he believed it. He wanted to die with it. So ultimately, there was a good surgeon called Murli. I told Murli, you clean it. Let us see. He cleaned it. So we cleaned it and then did our trick. The man has a foot, complete foot, normal foot. Not only that, watch this. This is the foot. Diabetic foot is always very fat because growth, insulin is growth hormone, hyperinsulinemia. You see the foot has become normal. 